singing in the rain. Singing in the rain. All right, what's up, party people? Welcome back. Today we got another video, and we're going to work on a hot water shower system for the van. So this is something I've been looking forward to. Right now it's gonna kind of remain as a portable system so I can kind of move it around wherever I want it. So let's take a look at what we've got here and see if we can get a shower working. For those of you that follow me on Instagram, you kind of know that I've been hinting toward this. I posted a picture of this little uh, mock scratch design that I was doing at the breakfast table the other day. So I've got a water pump. I've got my electrical, some hose clamps, I've got some tubing, and uh, I have ordered this heater and it has arrived, and these are fairly cheap. They're about a hundred bucks. You can find these for about a hundred dollars uh, on Amazon. And it's a propane heater, and it's similar to the Camp Lux style, but it's not a Camp Lux. So I am going to uh, go through this and try to get our water pump connected so that we can feed this propane powered uh, hot water heater that comes with a shower head already. We just haven't put it all together yet. And typically, typically when I'm, uh, typically when I'm traveling in the van, I have a seven gallon water tank located in the back. It's either used to supplement the seven gallon tank that I have under the sink or to use for showers in the rear back here. So I'm gonna to try to hook up a portable system, maybe hang the, the, the hot water heater on the side of the van here. Just see if we can get this working. I do also have a pop-up shower tent that I can pop up in the back as well. But I do wanna be able to take the water tank out and take the whole system out of the van to use at campsites where you need to be away from water or uh, away from a stream or away from a river or whatever. You need to be at least 50 feet away. So sometimes I need to be able to kind of walk this to a different spot. And then also I need to take, be able to take it out of the van uh, when I convert this back to cargo. It's not gonna be connected to the water faucet because I typically don't need hot water up there. And if I do, I'm already using a propane burner anyhow. So I do have to put all this together. So uh, let's get to it. I've got my electrical hookup, I've got a water strainer, I've got a pump and uh, some non-collapsible uh, water tube here with some uh, clamps and then also all the necessary for the gas hookup, some gas Teflon tape and all the different connectors, I believe. Now, I do want to convert this to a quick, quick connect system in the future, but right now with the price of brass fittings, I just do not want to spend the extra money to do that. So I'm just going to use these hose clamps for now and uh, see how well it works and then we'll we'll make a decision whether to uh, convert over at a later time or not we need to assemble our propane hot water heater so i'm gonna look through these instructions and we'll get started with that first it looked like it already had a gas inlet valve connected already and it comes with a regulator so i've got the shower head connected now i just need to affix the water inlet and uh, that's going to require me to put this garden hose in on this tube. So this is some 3 8 tubing reinforced so it won't crush under vacuum. And I'm gonna put this uh, water hose connector on. So it also comes with this water hose adapter uh, to get it to three quarters. So I'm gonna have to put some Teflon tape on here and screw that on. And some very shallow threads on here. Got our washer inside the adapter there. And uh, Got our Teflon tape on. So let's just tighten this up. And of course I grab the wrench that doesn't go big enough. And I'm gonna come back over here and reselect. How about some vice grips? Our channel locks. Don't want to over tighten that. So this is our hose barb fitting, just a standard three quarter inch with a three eighths inch barb on it. So we're gonna use our tube here. And what I'll do is I'll make two sections, one for the inlet, one for the outlet. This will be for the inlet. Usually if you just throw some isopropyl alcohol or some soapy water, these uh, go on extremely easy. Let's get our hose clamp on, push our end onto our barb. And this end here will go to the outlet of our water pump here. This is a Camp Lux uh, water pump, it's a diaphragm water pump. 12 volts, it says it pulls 3.5 amps. 
It automatically cuts off once the pressure gets to 35 PSI. And it is capable of an open flow of 1.2 gallons per minute. So I'm hoping this will pull up water out of that seven gallon tank and feed it to this, uh, this shower system. The shower system doesn't need too much pressure. It says it only needs about four PSI. Supposedly you can actually take a, uh, that seven gallon tank and just suspend it from a tree and, uh, that would be enough pressure for that tank to work. Um, I don't like picking up seven gallon water tanks that much unless they're near empty. So um, I'm gonna pump it out using this pump. So we're gonna uh, wait and connect these ends until we're finished actually working on our pump. So what I'm gonna do now is turn my attention over to the pump. And what I wanna do is since I already have a 12 volt cigarette lighter outlet in the rear of my van, and I'm gonna cut these ring terminals off, re-splice these into the pump motor and uh, give them a nice uh, soldering together. All right, we clipped off our ends and we're just gonna fuse these together. I got some green heat shrink to go over the individuals and I've got this yellow. I'm gonna slip over both of these and that way when I get through soldering this, we'll have a nice good connection. We'll heat shrink that all together and then we'll heat shrink it into one solid piece. I'm using my Rode mic today. And if you're curious about this, go back in my playlist. And I did a test with this uh, wireless mic with uh, skills demonstrations and things. So I did a couple of tests with uh, stationary and moving objects. So if you're interested in that, go back and look at that. Apologize for the noise. I'm just gonna see if it works. I've got a uh, 12 volt outlet right above this uh, container here. Yep. All right, so that's our 12 volt pump. Let's go back to the table here and work on our inlet tubes. This is our outlet from the, uh, from the pump. And so the pump is actually labeled with an arrow on the direction of water flow. So your inlet is on this side and your outlet is on that side. And we'll just twist this on real quick, tighten it up. And I'm gonna get some longer tube for sure, but uh, this is gonna go down into our water source. So I need to connect this into the pump. But first I need to make sure I connect this strainer as well. But let's go ahead and kind of size some of this up. I don't want too much. This has an error on it, the flow of water as well. We'll give this a good tightening. I want to see if I can find a board to mount this uh, pump to. All right, so I just uh, mounted this pump to some extra plywood I had laying around. And I've got this strainer on here. And so what I'm going to do is find a hole saw that is uh, just about a little bit bigger than this uh, bottom clear part so that it just kind of sits in there firmly. I don't want it to cover up the whole thing because I want to be able to see it and I want to be able to remove it and then untwist it. So I'm just going to cut a hole through this um, so it'll sit a little bit flatter. That's perfect. All right, let's do a quick pump test. So I've got my water source. I've got the strainer connected now, and I uh, just wanna make sure that this pump can actually pull from this jug and actually output some water. So we've got uh, a good water pump. 
and now I just need to uh, finish uh, connecting the gas to the water heater. What I want to try to do is I don't want to carry around 20 pound propane and that's the regulator and the propane connection that came with the uh, with the heater. So there's a converter that goes from 20 pound to one pound and uh, I'm just waiting for that converter to come in but uh, I've got a grill tank so I'm gonna go grab the propane tank off the the propane tank off the grill and uh, connect it up and then we'll, we'll give it a test. All right so here's the test set up. So seven gallon water tank I've got a 3 8 inch inside diameter pipe connected to a strainer it's just kind of sitting in a little hole in a piece of wood there. This is all a, a mock-up for right now. 12 volt electric motor. It's plugged into my cigarette lighter in the back. And uh, I just have something to capture the water. We have a 20 pound propane tank on here now. But I'm just going to use a little small one pound propane tank because I just don't have my adapter yet. So there's the unit and I've got it hanging up from my bed platform. It exhausts out the top here. And uh, you've got gas controls, water control. And you've got a temperature setting here and uh, it auto ignites using uh, there's two d batteries in this little plastic box in the bottom and it auto ignites once it detects water flow and my pump is set to about 30 psi so it'll cut off uh, once you get to 30 psi all right i'm gonna plug it in and uh, see what happens So it says it's about 106 degrees right now. I got it pretty low. Yep, it says it's 109 degrees. Pump automatically cuts off at 30 PSI, so pretty nice. You can hear it start up and the exhaust comes out the top. So we've got our shower tent out and we're just kind of testing out our shower here. What we got down in here. How's it going in there? It's nice and warm. Nice and warm? It's hot. It says it's 105 degrees. It's hot. Yeah, let me turn it down a little bit. Singing in the rain. Singing Ooh, in the nice. rain. All right, so that'll do it for this video. Tell me about the hot water system that you have in your van as well. I'd be interested in to hear a comparison of these tankless hot water heaters that are propane powered. Uh, this is just one particular brand. I went with this brand because the Camp Lux and some of the other brands were not in stock. So I'll do a full review on this once we get some real world usage out of it. And uh, we'll come back and uh, tell you all the goods and bads about this particular unit. All right, if you enjoyed the content, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, hey, give me a thumbs down. Just let me know you're there. Share the link with your friends. Click that post notification bell. You get notified of all new uploads. And until next time, scale up and ride, van up and go, and take a hot shower.